We're going to begin here at 530 with a live look from Air Tracker 5. This is what's happening right now here. This is in Akron. This is the latest of a number of protests for Jalen Walker. We have been covering all of these protests. You see dozens of people. This looks like this is actually outside of the police station downtown in Akron. Uh, one week ago, a grand jury declined to indict the eight Akron officers who shot and killed Jalen Walker. Obviously a story that we have been following uh, closely since last week. Meantime, new body camera video shows the confrontational uh, Jalen Walker protest in Akron where police used pepper spray and tear gas on marchers. Now, days later, the city was banned by a federal court order from using chemical irritants on nonviolent protesters. It wasn't until over the weekend police released video to show how the protests took a bad turn for officers. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan has been all over the story asking all of the questions about what happened since last week. She joins us live from Akron tonight. Tara, I know last week you couldn't get any answers from the city. Are you hearing anything tonight from city leaders? No, and they keep citing that federal civil action as the reasoning for them not commenting. Now, the video that you're about to see is from the Copley Road protests last Wednesday when protesters took over the streets. April 19th, a line of officers walk up behind protesters in the middle of Copley Road. Water bottles thrown from the crowd skid across the pavement. Police Chief Steve Milet said one bottle hit a deputy's head. Pepper spray appears to be the immediate reaction by police. All right, they're starting to throw bottles. All right, if you need the spray, spray them. Minutes later, officers put on masks. A different video released by police gives a perspective from above showing traffic curb to curb. Police say it would have prevented officers, medics, and fire crews from getting by. Uh, I think we're going to have to deploy munitions down in Copley and uh, East. Uh, they just gathered down there. It would just be a push until we hit it with first. Further down the street, you see smoke. Oh, 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 oh. Two days earlier, a grand jury declined to indict eight officers for killing Jalen Walker. After the protest last Wednesday, the Akron Bail Fund filed a federal civil lawsuit and motion for a temporary restraining order against the city. Last Friday, the city signed a joint stipulated order banning it and other agencies working for it from using things like pepper spray and tear gas on nonviolent protesters to get them to leave city streets. The order expires at the end of the first week of May. So what does Police Chief Steve Milet say about all of this? We've been trying to talk with him about it since the protest last Wednesday night. Instead, the police department posted a video message by the chief and some body camera footage, but provided no opportunity for questions. Then on Sunday, we were told the chief had a family situation in Columbus and they try to set something up for Monday. Well, that isn't happening. I'm happy that it's under review. Assistant uh, professor and former police officer Calfani Torre from Mount St. Mary's in Maryland reviewed the body camera footage. There were expletives that were thrown at the officers. There were objects thrown at the officers. He says there was a need for police to restore order, but questions if there could have been a better way. I, I think that they could have waited a bit. They could have redirected traffic. Um, I'm not sure that the tear gas um, was the best decision. Police In the chief's saying, video yeah. message, he said officers to told the crowd to leave before using chemical irritants. That for close to two hours, police stayed out of the way. These types of events are to be expected. I mean, people are frustrated. Um, and we haven't quite figured out how to improve, not just in Akron, but in the nation writ large, how to improve police and community relations. And just today, U.S. Representative Amelia Sykes sent a letter to the Department of Justice urging an investigation into the patterns and practices of the Akron Police Department. In Akron, I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan. And Tara, we know you will certainly be pressing the city for more answers on this one. Thanks a lot.